It's that time again. Now, every year, this is becoming one of my favorite fig trees, the Black Mission Fig. This boy don't be kidding around. It give me big figs. I'm trying not to step in this. It give me huge figs, huge figs, super sweet. And we've been running an experiment. And the experiment is, if you pull your figs a little too early, will they ripen off the tree? Let me tell you something, family. The, the answer to that question is yes. Hell yeah. Yes, they will. Our problem is birds, squirrels, every animal around Easley Island still in our fruit. We found out that if you pull them a little early, they'll be fine. As a matter of fact, they end up even sweeter. So I'm gonna tell you exactly what to do. We're gonna pick these and I'm gonna tell you exactly what we've been doing and it's been working like a charm and it's gonna help you save some of your fruit. Okay, right out the gate, we're gonna take, you see this one? He's not quite ready. When I snap him, see that we getting latex? We're getting latex coming off of that? Normally you would be like, oh, I picked it too early, right? Okay, don't eat this yet. You let the latex drain off and then you put this to the side in a bowl and you put that in the refrigerator now i'm gonna finish picking these figs and i'm gonna show you the next step see yeah see he he's just poking out he ain't hanging i'm gonna try to find a good ripe one for you that's kind of hanging this is how you know when they're about ready see how this guy is kind of drooping down let me feel him he a little softer he drooping let's see see if we get latex action no late oh we got a little latex he wasn't quite ready but he's gonna be incredible watch this oh yeah he got a little split in him he might be ready let's see any latex action yep we got a little latex action normally you would be like oh man that's messed up but I'm here to show you this works i promise you i've done it twice and i cannot believe it so come on, let's finish picking these because it's about to start raining. It's actually raining on me right now. Let's hurry this up. Oh yeah, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful Black Mission fig. And when I say they taste delicious, they are incredible. You hear me? Look at that open eye. How y'all doing? <laughs> this is what I'm talking about right here, you guys. There is no reason on the planet Earth that you should not be growing your own food. You know how much these cost in the store? Stop this video. Go Google how much these cost at any one of your grocery stores if your grocery store sells them, and it will blow your mind. Six of these will cost you about 7 to $8 in the store local to me. Look at that. Look at this. Oh, this one must have been ready because look, look what happened. They got him. Got him. I give that to my chickens. I'm going to lift up. Now I'm clearing all these babies out. Now see, that one is ripe. No latex action. We got some, we got some pecking going on though. See a little something crawling on him. You just get rid of it and cut that piece off. No big deal. I missed a lot around here. But see, they're soft enough. They got color in them. Well, we can't let the birds and squirrels get them because I'm telling you, these will be gone in the morning. I promise you, I promise you. I could see these from the street. When I pulled up from work, I knew I better go get them. I will never wait for a fully ripe, gigantic fig again. I'd rather eat them super sweet and just do it this way, like a pear, than the animals get them all. We got plenty more to get, family. I love this tree. I really do.
I really enjoy this tree. Yeah, I've had this tree now. This is the second season. It's been in a second year. It's been in the ground. Look at this. I'm missing them because they all under the leaves. I'm walking right past them. I know that's latex action. Look at this. Look at this. All up under here that we ain't seeing. This is where the geese ends up getting me and stealing them. Because I can't see these. This tree is only uh, about five feet tall. We got plenty more. I know this is boring, but it's exciting to me. It's nothing better than harvesting your own fruit off your trees. Nothing better. Because you know what? You and God did this. They say, lead. How did you plant it? What did you do? I stuck it in a hole. And you got sold. Ain't a whole bunch you have to do to it. You just got to get up and do it. That's the first step. That's the first step. Right there. Look at that. Now, I'm going to leave this one on because that's hard as a rock. I know he ain't nowhere ready. And the creatures don't want him. But this boy here. Oh, wait till y'all see what it look like inside. I'm going to open the ripe ones for y'all. Look at that. Okay, family. Let's taste one of our ripe figs. Now, I've already had these in the refrigerator, and I'm going to let them finish ripening, but I'm going to grab one of the ripe ones and give it a taste right now. Just to show you what we're working with. There's one I'm looking for in particular. Just so you see. We got a nice little harvest going on here. Nice little harvest of black mission figs. But okay. What was that? Oh. Thought you were screaming. <laughs> let me find let me find the right one. You coming over like you want a little tasty taste, honey. Mm -hmm. You want a taste? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, this is it. Let's get it down. I'll show y'all a little something. Okay. Let's get it. Ooh. There you go. Ain't that beautiful? Ooh, look at all that sauce. That's definitely the right one. Ready, hun? Mm-hmm. my fig taster mm. yeah that black mission fig ain't that right mm. now the rest of this whole bowl is going to get ripe in the refrigerator just like Ooh. we did the other yeah yeah you wonder why i'm going ahead finishing all that we got plenty you wonder why i'll be feeding over that tree no i don't this ain't new i know them black mission figs ain't no joke Listen, the beavers don't like figs, but I'm still going to put it. I mean, I'm going to taste this one for you, let you know. Go ahead and taste it for me, honey. Let me see how it's working with you. Okay. So, oh, I'm going to wrap these up. You and know, then, that might have just been one good one. One good one, you think? Give it a, give it a shot. Right. Well, come here, come here, wait. Might as well cut and show the... Show the people. I don't want to use the. Uh, no, you ain't got to use my chopper. I don't want to use the razor knife. You ain't got to use the razor knife, honey. You can use your own little knife. Be careful. Be careful. Don't cut your little hands open. Ooh. Ooh. 
Oh. Oh, close up, close up, close up. Here, open that one like you do. I don't know. I never can do it like you can do it. Oh, man, look at that. That's incredible. I love these figs. Oh, you want to taste it? It'll help a little bit. Mm. It's like... Look at how red this one is inside. I love cherries. I love cherries. But... It's hard to grow them here in the Carolinas, but I promise you, if you love cherries, strawberries, because that's what just tastes like a mix between a cherry and a, and a strawberry. If you like cherries and strawberries and you can't grow them in your region, thank you, honey. Oh my goodness. <laughs> just grow a mission fig. I am going to do an air layer. I got all these air layers back here on my LSU Go, not air layers, but cuttings from my LSU Go and my Black Mission Fig. I'm going to put them all over my land. You can't so have enough. The biggest Don't get the one with the latex because that's the one I'm doing on the experiment. Them ain't done. Let me oh, see. Okay. Let me see this one. No, he ain't ready. Okay. I ain't had too He's many. It's just so pretty and fat. It is, but that's why this is the whole experiment. Okay. All We're right. going to have to come back and show the people. All right. Thank okay, you, the people. All right. It was delicious. Thank you, honey. They'll be ready in a couple days. So that's the whole experiment. Mm. So I'm going to do an update and show you what the ones out of the refrigerator, what the rest of these are looking like in just a few days. <laughs> in a few days, these will be ready to rock and roll. So all I'm gonna do is put this clean wrap back on them, put them in the refrigerator, leave them in there for about, oh, well, what we normally leave them in, about four days, five days. They sit in there for, just say a week, leave them in there for about a week and they'll ripen up. So this works, I promise you this works. So if you, if you don't believe me, try it and watch what happens, they ice cold, and all of the syrup inside gets sweeter and sweeter. The longer you let them sit, the riper they get, the sweeter they get. You'll see. All right. So thanks for watching. Live from 73. I love y'all. And I'm out. Mm.